Hi, what's up guys? We are at Solman's Barbecue here in Van, Texas. Doing a grab and grub. I am joined by 8-Bit Eric. What's up, bitches? All right, so I've never been here. You've never been here? No. Nah. Let's go in and see what this is about. Welcome to Soul Man's Barbecue. Uh, we've been in business since 1974. Uh, we're family owned and operated. Uh, we currently have uh, 16 locations and uh, just this year we're starting to franchise out, build new stores. Uh, we still do things the way we did in 1974. Uh, several of our recipes are, uh, are my grandmother's own recipe. There's her picture right up here on the wall. Uh, and we're glad to have you. Uh, my name's Travis Hallett. And my, my uncle, uh, Don Hallett, is the owner, and uh, Brett Randall, CEO. We have uh, Steve Young here, district manager. We're all just like family. This is called the, I'm going to read this, out of sight special. It's a beef sandwich, and then you get two sides, or potato, I got two sides. Corn, mac. Not bad, I haven't been in a sandwich though. Not bad. It's alright. It's not bad. Not bad. How's the mac and cheese? It looks the like they cheese. get free ice cream here. Do they? Yeah. Well, at least there's that. <laughs> How's the mac and cheese? The mac and cheese looks really creamy. It's not too bad. I should have bought more. I self served on the sides. So when you go down, you pick your two sides. Sweet. I, and I think you could put it. I thought about loading it up, but I don't know. Not a bad. All right, guys, so I got the two meat plate here. And uh, usually when I come to a barbecue joint, especially if I've never been there, I like to get the two meat plate. I like the brisket and I like the sausage. Um, we got some Texas toast here. It fucking looks great. So let's, uh, let's just dig in. Mm. The brisket is actually moist. I know a lot of people don't like that word. The brisket, the brisket is not dry. A lot of brisket is really dry. It's not here. Mac and cheese is fucking bomb, dude. This is this is okay. This is fucking good. Mashed taters and gravy. Those are real. That ain't no instant bullshit. Fuck. Fucking legit, dude. <laughs> Fuck you. This what is good. About, what about the toast? The toast is nice and buttery and fattening. Like Pete. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. Okay, this is good. Final thoughts here in just a minute. Alright, so we just had lunch at, well, Solman's, obviously. Um. The people in there were super nice. The food, let's rank this place. Let's cut the bullshit, get right down to it. Give it a score and tell us why you gave it that score. Eight out of 10, I've had better. Nah, <laughs> it was pretty good. It was a good, it's a good eight. It's a solid eight. Solid eight, okay. Yeah, what about I mean, I, I did have some of your leftovers and that kind of influenced it a little bit more. Uh, I guess it's close to a nine. Maybe 8.7, 8.8. It's pretty good. And a free ice cream, but I've seen a lot of barbecue places that do that. Okay, what did you say about the mashed potatoes, though? They're pretty good. What, did, what were your exact words about Those the mashed potatoes? Those are probably like, the best mashed potatoes I've had. Can't argue with that, right? Me, I'm gonna go with a very solid nine. This place is way better than most barbecue joints that I've ever had. Um, you know, you know, if you guys have watched past videos, it's hard for me to give perfect tens on, on things. This place was legit. The meat was good. It was tender. It was moist. The brisket wasn't dried out like a lot of places. The mac and cheese and the mashed taters were fucking bomb. So you're about eight and a half or so. I'm about nine. 8.75 overall. So Solman's is a good. Come check it out if you're in the area. And there's 17 locations, they said? 
16, 16 locations. So find one near you, go check it out, tell them Jay sent you.